May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. December 15, 2023, Friday of the second week of Advent. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you beneficial things, who guides you in the way that you walk. If only you had paid attention to my commandments. Your peace would have been like a river, and your justice would have been like the waves of the sea, and your offspring would have been like the sand, and the stock from your loins would have been like its stones. His name would not have passed away, nor would it have been worn away before my face. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed is the man who has not walked in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stood in the way of sinners, nor sat in the chair of pestilence. But his will is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he shall meditate day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. And he shall be like a tree which is planted near the running waters, which shall bring forth its fruit in due season. And his leaf shall not fall off, and all whatsoever he shall do shall prosper. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so, but like the dust, which the wind drives from the face of the earth. For the Lord knows the way of the just, and the way of the wicked shall perish. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, But to what shall I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplace, who, calling out to their companions, say, We played music for you, and you did not dance. We lamented, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a man who eats voraciously and who drinks wine, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is justified by her sons. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How deeply does the gospel impact your life, bringing you joy and guiding you to repentance for your sins? Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another, We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. Matthew 11 verses 16 to 17 What does Jesus mean when he says as we played the flute for you? And we sang a dirge. The church fathers clearly identify this fluto and a dirge as the word of God that has been preached by the prophets of old. So many came before Jesus to prepare the way, but so many failed to listen. John the Baptist was the final and greatest prophet, and he called people to repentance, but few listened. Thus, Jesus points out this sad truth. In our day and age, we have so much more than the prophets of the Old Testament. We have the incredible witness of the saints, the infallible teaching of the Church, the gift of the sacraments and the life and teaching of the Son of God Himself, as recorded in the New Testament. Yet, sadly, so many refuse to listen. So many fail to dance and mourn, in response to the Gospel. We must dance in the sense that the gift of Christ Jesus, by his life, death, 
and resurrection should be the cause of our wholehearted rejoicing and eternal adoration. Those who truly know and love the Son of God are filled with joy. Furthermore, we must mourn on account of the countless sins in our own lives and in the lives of those all around us. Sin is real and prevalent, and a holy sorrow is the only appropriate response. Salvation is real. Hell is real. And both of these truths demand a total response from us. In your own life, how fully have you allowed the gospel to affect you? How attentive are you to the voice of God as it has been spoken through the lives of the saints and through our church? Are you tuned into the voice of God as he speaks to you in the depths of your conscience in prayer? Are you listening? Responding? Following? And giving your whole life in the service of Christ and his mission? Reflect today upon the clear, unmistakable, transforming and life-giving words and presence of the Savior of the world. Reflect upon how attentive you have been in life to all that he has clearly spoken and to his very presence. If you do not find yourself dancing for God's glory and a mourning over the evident sins of your life and within our world, then recommit yourself to a radical following of Christ. In the end, the truth that God has spoken throughout the ages and his holy and divine presence are all that matter. Let us pray. My glorious Lord Jesus, I acknowledge your divine presence in my life and in the world all around me. Help me to be more attentive to the countless ways that you speak to me and come to me each and every day. As I discover you and your holy word, fill me with joy. As I see my sin and the sins of the world, give me true sorrow so that I will work tirelessly to combat my own sin and bring your love and mercy to those who are most in need. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.